Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Postman Beginners Tutorial. So this is our lesson 5 on variables. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you what is variable in Postman and why do we need to use variables in Postman and how can we create variables and what are all the different types of variables that we can declare in Postman and how can we refer the variables while automating your request messages. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so what are variables in Postman? So variables in Postman are similar to what we use for other tools like Eclipse, Visual Studio, right? So variables you declare in Eclipse while writing in Java, right? In the same way, for Postman also, variables can store different types of values and why do we need these variables? Because by storing the different values in the variable, you can reuse them in multiple places and multiple times. So you need not to declare the value multiple times. So you will be declaring once and you will be using these variables in different places. So that is the reason we use these variables. Okay. And what are the different types of variables? So we have environment variables in Postman and also we have global variables in Postman and also the variables can be declared at collection level. That means if you want to use a variable for the logically divided API request messages that are grouped in a collection, then you can define the variables at collection level as well. Okay. I'm going to explain how can we use environment variables? How can we use global variables? And how can we use the variables at collection level? Okay, in this session. And how to create and refer variables in the Postman. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how can we create and refer variables in Postman. Okay, so now let's jump onto the system and see how can we create them. Okay. Okay, so this is my Postman tool. Okay, so in my previous session, I have explained you how can we create a collection and within collection, how can you create multiple API requests and how can we run your collection, right? And I have actually teached you how to run multiple API requests and then how can you verify the results, okay? So I would suggest you guys to visit my previous video before you watch this session, okay? So if you see, in previous session, we added these two. One is get users list and the other request is get single user, right? So if you observe closely the URL here from here, okay? This URL, part of this URL is similar in both the requests, okay? Similar in the both the requests. Now, I want to store this common part of URL into a variable. I want to store into a variable and then refer that variable here. Okay. So how can I do that? Okay. So for that, I need to create a variable. So we can, as I told you earlier, variable can be declared at different levels. So if I click on collection, right? And this is your collection tab right under collection you can redirect to your variable section here let's declare url variable name as url and then what is the value so this is my value and then current value also gonna be take same okay so what i did my variable name is url i'm storing the value of res request rec res dot in I'm storing this value into this variable. Okay. And then save this. Done. So I've saved it. Now I need to refer this variable in URL. 
okay for that how do we refer so referring variable is simple see double curly braces close double close double curly braces here you need to specify url right and then let's send a request now so i replaced with double curly braces and if you hover over on this see if you hover over here it's it clearly says this url variable has initial value this and current value this right so it's pretty easy so in the latest postman only this hovering and then you can see the uh, variable values in the latest postman only okay so this this particular feature is available okay and now let's send this request so i should get the response see i'm getting the response of all the users in the same way i want to replace the constant value with my variable so double curly braces and your variable name as soon as you hover on here it will show you the url see the url variable value right and now send it now it's going to return only the user 4 details right it's successfully returning the user 4 details now so what are all the different types of, i'm saving this one okay so now what are all the different types of variables that are available so if you go to your environments okay so here the variables can be declared at global level okay or variables can be declared at environment level okay so let's go back here if you see uh, again i am in, i'm into collections okay i'm into collection okay and if you see here the quick view environment quick look if you click on right side corner on top click on environment click view quick view if you see here there is a section called environment and there is a section called globals right so currently we don't have any global variables and environment variables declared so that's why it's showing empty right and so currently whatever the variable that we declared here right under collection this is at collection level so that's why you don't see any variable here okay so if you want to add any environment variable either you can add from here from environment quick look and click on add to add the environment variable okay so before you add environment variable first you need to create environment and then add the environment variable okay so that is main thing and if you want to add a global variable you need to click on add under global section it's going to create your global variable under globals that means what is the difference see in the corporate world we generally have multiple environments and uh, see let's say you have a QA environment and production environment so it's not necessary that the variables what, what variable values whatever you declare might be different in different environments right so that's the reason you're going to create environment first and then you're going to declare the variables according to your environment and there might be some variables which are global across the environments so then you will be declaring the variables in, at global level so this is one place from where you can declare or if you go to environments tab here right go to environment tab if you want to declare the variables at global level click on globals and then provide your variable global variable let's assume global variable like uh, probably division is one of your global variable and then what is your value let's say this is uh, 460 right and let's assume you have an environment QA environment then what you're going to do you need to create a new environment how you go here this is my new environment rename this as QA and then provide your variables let's assume in QA your division is 460 and let's say i want to create another environment click on create new environment here and then name this as production right now your division might be in production your division might be 300 
let's assume okay so that means at global level i have created one division in qa 460 in production it's 300 so that means environment level variables you can declare global level variables you can declare now if you go back here so if you go here and then see your environment quick look so you can let me just refresh this okay i have not saved them okay let me save all these okay save this and then save your qa environment variables save your global variables now if you go to quick look you can see here you have global variables declared already why environment is not showing because i have not selected the environment so i have selected the environment as no environment if you see here q environment if i click here now i can see in the environment qa i have defined a variable called division and also i have declared another variable called division under global level right so for today's session i don't want to concentrate on environments anyway right because i'm gonna publish another video for managing and creating the environments and how can we use environment level variables and how can we use global level variables in the upcoming sessions that i'm going to discuss but for now so we created a variable at collection level and then we have used that variable under the apis that are available within the collection so whatever the apis that are available within the collection we have referred that particular variable under url okay so in the further sessions in further sessions i'm going to teach you more complex scenarios where i'm going to declare the variables at environment levels and if i want to use the variables and in the request message how can we use them and if i want to store the values basically let's say i want to store the response so this is my response and i want to store email id of this particular user in the variable and then i want to use this stored value in my next request message i want to refer that particular variable in my next api request so how can we perform so this kind of complex scenarios i'm going to explain in the next sessions okay hope you all understand how can we declare the variables at collection level and how can we create the variables at environment level and global variable level by using postman okay so if you have any queries please do provide your queries in the comment box i'll try to reply to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you